my mother's dream was for us to go to college. And I think for a lot of first-generation college students, college represents this opportunity, not just for us, but for our whole families, to change the, you know, the story of their lives. My name is Jimmy Rojas. I am from Costa Rica. I am an international student here at MIT. My parents didn't go to college. My mom's a housekeeper. My dad's a construction worker. Me getting into college was like a pretty big deal. My dad was a steel worker. He didn't graduate from high school. My grandfather had a grammar school education. He was also a steel worker. My great grandfather was a steel worker. Um, I grew up in an area where it wasn't really expected that people were going to go to college. My parents, they went to elementary school and that's it. They were very supportive. And they were always like, people tell you that getting into MIT is impossible, but we think that you can do it because you're putting a lot of effort. I sort of went through a lot of the process on my own just because my parents, you know, hadn't gone through the process themselves, so they didn't really, you know, they were there for me, but they couldn't provide a lot of advice. Filling out applications, taking tests, like sending in scores, and like getting recommendations for like, it was a lot of, it was a lot of things. It took a lot of figuring out. And a lot of it was just like, I had to ask my teachers, I had to ask family friends. Right when um, I went away to this prep school, my dad was working temporarily as a janitor. And when I said I wanted to go away to this boarding school, he almost started to cry and he said, I don't want you to go because I'm afraid you're going to come back and look down on me because I'm a janitor. There was this very brief stint like around my sophomore year of high school where for a split second I was like, am I going to college? Like, is that, is that something I should do? Like, it was, it was that bad. Like, it was the point where it's like, I didn't know if I should go to college. After all of that effort, I ended up getting into MIT. Amazing, just an unbelievable feeling. I had always been a bright student. So to go to college and all of a sudden find out that there were these things I didn't know that I was supposed to know, and that everybody else in the classroom had learned stuff that I had never learned, was a humbling and demoralizing experience that led me at times to just retreat and think to myself, this is not the place for me. Your family is typically almost counting on you. You know, you've made them so proud. It's, it's such a rare thing, maybe. You know, you're the first one to go to college, first one to try this thing out, and particularly at a place like MIT, uh, it's, you know, you don't want to disappoint anyone. But the last thing I wanted to do was walk into a professor's office and say, you know, I'm not following something. I don't know what's happening. I, I need help with such and such. It, it took me, you know, I think until the very end of college to work up that kind of courage. For me, college is, you know, the make it or break it thing. It's, it's not a, there is no option to change my mind. You know, my mother, witnessed her dream come true, her two kids heading off to college. And I think she simultaneously worried and was dreadfully afraid that college was going to change us. I feel like I belong here after all. I was here for just six months and then I went to Costa Rica, but I wanted to come back. When we came home on the holidays, we were under great scrutiny. Everyone was looking at how we talked and how we sat, and what we ate, and how we behaved, and what music we listened to. You know, they had to figure out what was happening to us, whether or not we still belonged. When students move away to go to elite schools, there is a real rupture that gets created with families at home. Their families are coming from different backgrounds. And oftentimes I think both the students and the parents don't really know how to address that. And and those feelings get buried a lot, I think. I am my family's support system once I graduate. My mother has always wanted to be in an airplane. My father has always wanted to have a telescope. In a few years, I think I will be able to make those dreams real. I put a lot of effort to change my life, and uh, I would like to do something to change theirs. Not just my parents, also my sister, and hopefully everyone else in my family, and hopefully everyone else in the country. The very success of our careers has made us sort of invisible. And, you know, I walk into a room now and people see me as the head of the history faculty. Um, but they don't see me as a guy from Bedford-Stuyvesant who, you know, had a good chance of not even making it through college. 
I now have a much bigger perspective of the world. I now understand many things that I, I didn't understand. I was living in like a bubble and I had no idea what was happening outside that place. So MIT has opened my mind. It's life changing because it, it just sort of opens up in a whole other world of opportunities than I would have ever had access to. And I feel like an MIT degree, no matter what you study, there are lots of ways to apply it. I want to conclude by celebrating and thanking the good people of this world, while at the same time honoring a most important couple in my life. The couple in my story left Eastern Europe in the late 1930s, during one of the darkest periods in its history, and found refuge in South America. This couple raised four sons under extremely difficult circumstances, but raised them with principles, with integrity and values. Out of the goodness of good people, this couple escaped direct catastrophe. So today, I want to honor everyone who is struggling and who dreams of a brighter future for their children, and to tell each of them that there is hope. Because the youngest son of the couple in my story eventually became the 17th president of one of the most remarkable educational institutions the world has ever seen. Many people have dreams like the one I had, but they feel like those dreams are basically impossible to achieve. So with an MIT degree, with a college degree, I think I will have the voice to show the world that you can actually achieve your dreams.